on. Rolling. Hi, my name is Lisa in Mordino Vreeland, and I'm the director of Peggy Guggenheim Art Addict. Thank you for taking the time during these extraordinary times to watch the film. I hope you are all healthy and safe. It's hard to believe that this film came out five years ago. You know, we started making it in 2013 and it came out in, in 2015. And it was a really special film for me to make on multiple levels because it touched upon the fact that you know, it was Italy and I grew up in Milan and um, I felt as a child, I mean, I was, I was an art history major and I felt as a child that there, often I must have been at the Guggenheim collection and I had this hope that I was perhaps there at the same time that Peggy was still there. And you know, it was the storytelling aspect on, of the film is really on multiple levels because you have the fact that you have this personality, this character, Peggy, who is a Guggenheim. And so we immediately had to take apart that side of it and say, you know, all of a sudden she, you know, she's slightly entitled, you know, she came from money. But she came from a family that really left a mark on her. You know, she had a father who was cheating on, on her mother, and this is what she experienced as, as, a, as a child, that she did not have a father who was faithful. And she had a mother who really didn't pay attention to her because her sister was much more beautiful than she was. All she knew was that she needed to get away, and she did at a very, very young age, and she moved to Paris, and that's when she started to find herself and started to define who she was. And it would take some time. It didn't start immediately because she also had to live a life and feel like she wasn't imprisoned in any way. And it did evolve into her starting this career of collecting art. And this is when the Peggy Guggenheim we know today really started to emerge. And, you know, I, in presenting the film and when I presented it worldwide, it was, interesting for me to have these conversations with art with art historians or museum directors and what i noticed was the fact that peggy had this impact in so many multiple ways because since she had galleries in london and in new york and then she started this museum in venice she touched upon the early days of modernism in all of those countries and they're not many historical figures who did that and you know she was committed to it and she was committed to it from the very very beginning and we have to remember that also she was a woman and she was a woman in a man's world and these were all these stories that i felt were important that needed to emerge from the film and she was also a woman who could never really find the love of her life and the love of her life ultimately became those paintings and the collection. And you know, I hope that you can take away the feeling of courage that I felt that Peggy really had throughout her whole life. And that, you know, today, if you have the chance, once the, the world reopens, do go to Venice and do go to see this extraordinary co collection because I feel like it still is one of the best in the world. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.